Future. Who has seen it? Nobody. Future. Who can predict it? Well, that's really tough. 30 years ago, we would not have predicted a revolution like how it is today. Information technology revolution, social media revolution, right? What if I tell you in the next 30 years, the whole world is going to shape up around biological discovery and biological research. The early 1900s was the era of physics research. The mid of 1900s, somewhere in 1950 and 2000, we saw chemical research, chemistry research taking off. And we are seeing in this first, last 20 years of uh, the 21st century, more research and revolution, re revolutionary research is happening in the biological research sector. Now, using the data sets which we have, using the investor sentiment which we are looking at, and looking at the innovations which is happening across the globe, we have concluded that four biological research fields are going to attract maximum investments. I'm going to give you proofs as well as a lot of insights. So stay tuned in the video. I'll not talk about a lot of fields. I'll just talk about four fields, which is going to be in a boom phase very, very soon. Now, the first one among them, which is also very exciting, is space biology. Yes, you heard me right. Space as we know it as we see today is going to change. As the population grows, as humans explore space and Elon Musk and his company is trying to reach Mars, you will see a boom in space travel as well. We have already seen billionaires traveling to the space. But what is going to happen in the future is common man traveling to space. But there will be a problem and the problem is going to be biological limitations of human body. You cannot travel into the space for long. You cannot stay in the space for long, given the kind of technology we have today. Now, a lot of research is happening today in the area of epigenetics pertaining to space biology. Now, if I have to say that way, let's say it, space bio, in the space when humans stay for long, what will be the impact on their body when they stay for a longer duration? If we are able to study that, and if we are able to create a technology which so this removes all those limitations which the biological body has. Imagine, humans can live in space, humans can travel in space, humans can reach out to other planets, right? What seems like a science fiction today is going to be a reality. Now, you must be remembering the uh, deadly viruses science fiction movie, right? It used to be a science fiction, but COVID-19 pandemic proved it that yes, it can be a reality. So, here is a point I want to make. Space biology and space travel are going to be a real thing in the next seven years. Mark my words, seven years. Not less than that, not more than that. By 2030, you're going to see space biology and space, and space, and space research taking off with huge investments coming in. And that is where, if more investment is coming into space travel, then obviously, limitations have to be removed and biological body limitations is the biggest limitation which a space astronaut will have. So that is where more hiring of space biologists will happen, who will be able to study and remove the biological limitations. And of course, there is another point. If we are going for a longer duration in space, then we need food, right? So we need to grow plants in space. We need to do farming in space. And that is where a lot of investments are going to go into agriculture, space agriculture. Imagine the future where you can be a space scientist but working on biology. So that is one exciting field which is going to take. The next one which I have is quantum biology. Now I already made a separate video giving you all the basics of quantum computing, quantum biology and quantum chemistry. If you have missed that, please check it out. It's on our YouTube channel. But today I'm here to tell you that quantum biology is here to take off with massive leaps. Now why do I say that? Now what Scientists have realized is if we understand quantum biology better, if we understand quantum co chemistry better, we can design quantum computers better. Okay, given that how the Arctic turn knows that uh, through the help of magnetic fields of the Earth, it traverses through the you know uh, space and traverses traverses through the atmosphere and reaches the exact destination. How does it happen? It happens through quantum mechanics. So that is one thing 
which is going to help and that is where quantum biology is going to grow by leap and bounds again on the shoulders of quantum computing. People want to grow in understand quantum computing better, develop better quantum computers and that is where quantum biology and quantum chemistry is going to go hand in hand and grow. Okay, So that is where biology, physics and chemistry will come together. It's a growing field because humans as we know it today are hell bent to increase the computing capacity of the future. Right? Even space travel depends on quantum computers. So, here we are. Quantum biology is going to grow because it depends on the shoulder of other fields also and it is closely interrelated. So, that's my second point. The third one is bioinformatics. Yes, it has already taken off. We know it. A lot of startups are there in India. A lot of research is going to, to happen in the future as well. Already research is happening in US, UK, Japan, Europe, everywhere. But here is a point I want to tell you. If you combine the power of bioinformatics with machine learning and artificial intelligence, that is where you can accelerate drug discovery. That is where you can simulate the bonding of ligand and protein in the computer and then predict it. Even without getting into the wet lab, you can predict in the dry lab and then only do that experiment which is going to succeed. Right? So you fail in the dry lab and find out the right mix which will help you succeed in the wet lab. That is the power of bioinformatics. Given that the tool, tools which we are seeing today and the way it is growing and all the open source tools which are coming in as well as the proprietary tools like Schrodinger, it's all going to come together and become a very solid combination in the field of drug discovery as well as artificial intelligence and biology. So these are the two fields where bioinformatics will have, will have tremendous contribution the field has already taken off. If you have missed the bus, you can always enroll into Biotechnica's Global Tools and Techniques Internship. Link is in the description where you can get all this in a detailed manner, in a much more holistic manner so that you can be prepared for the future. Now coming to the last part of the today's video where it is CRISPR, the fourth field which is already taking off. Now you look at this. There are two billion dollar companies already built on the top of CRISPR technology, which is Editas Medicine and CRISPR Therapeutics. On the top of it, we have Mammoth Biosciences, we have uh, Synthego and various startups jumping into this. CRISPR will not just help in drug discovery, it will help us in doing gene editing and achieving better results, removing the anomaly in the gene, removing probably uh, you know the cancer uh, gene which causes cancer and a lot of things is possible through CRISPR. It is cheaper, it is better, it is faster, it is scalable. And that is why companies are loving it. So CRISPR is one such tool, CRISPR-Cas9, which is going to grow in the future. So what I did is I combined all the data which is there with the investors. We combined all the data which is there with the companies, the kind of research we are seeing. And I have told you four fields which are going to take a boom. If you want to be a part of the CRISPR research revolution, then you can join CRISPR Bioinformatics Internship. And that is where you will learn a newer approach where we apply bioinformatics tools into CRISPR and win the CRISPR experiment. Now, one caution for all of you, the seats are limited in all these internships. So if you want to enroll, do it fast because the links are in description and everybody has access to it. By the time probably you will click, somebody would have booked it. So don't delay, enroll today. Now, coming to the last part in the conclusion, these four are just tip of the iceberg. Biological research is going to take off and there, there are going to be 50 plus fields who are going to grow. Like I said in the beginning of the video, the 19 hundreds from 1900 to 1950 we saw physics research growing 1950 to two, through the year 2000 we saw chemistry research growing this is the era of biological research to grow and you have to be the future you have to be the part of the future you have to be optimistic you have to be ready to learn this holistic science you have to be ready to apply all these technologies and techniques in your research like i always say uh, advanced research can only be only be done by a enabled empowered researcher so empower yourself with the latest technologies la latest tools subscribe to biotechnica and stay in touch any questions put them down in the comment section and i'll see you soon in the next one till then take care bye bye